Good morning. This is your three by three, and that is the top three energy stories from last week, in my view, anyway. Um, so let's just get right started. Um, so the new European Commission was just formed uh, with new leadership, and 10 days into the session, they came out with an initiative to reduce carbon emissions by 40% by the year 2030. Uh, that's up from a previous goal of 27%, and the net zero uh, target of 2050 stays the same. How do they plan to do this? Well, they intend to stimulate almost $290 billion in new clean energy investments, uh, a focus on increasing the uh, component of offshore wind in that mix, as well as a focus on energy storage, hydrogen, and carbon capture. And finally, an interesting concept they've developed, which is this carbon border. So the carbon border would essentially be uh, circumscribing the entire EU and saying, okay, here are the emissions that we have. If somebody intends to move manufacturing offshore to lower internal emissions and essentially export those someplace else, nope, they still count. So uh, a lot of devil in the details, but already something really interesting coming out of Europe. If you look south to Chile, also a fascinating development last week where Engie, the development company, the big French company, announced that it is planning to take a new coal-fired plant out of commission in just five years. The Mejillones plant, 334 megawatts, 896 million dollars, just got commissioned. Now it's gonna run five years and then they're gonna take it out of commission. You can file that one under bad investments. Uh, also in California, we see a premature retirement from GE's Inland Empire plant. Uh, which essentially is a 10-year-old facility, half a million dollars, half of it had already been mothballed, and now they want to take the rest of it out of commission because they simply can't make money at it. So with the Public Utilities Commission's blessing, they're going to shut it down and demolish it and replace that with some energy storage, and also other assets will be added to the mix. So the, the lesson there is that... Um, the world is changing really, really rapidly and optionality has never been more valuable. There are still a couple hundred megawatts of gas-fired plants on the books in the United States and uh, if many of those get built, there's a very significant likelihood that within 10 or 15 years, they also will be filed under bad investments uh, as stranded assets. As the world changes, wind and solar get cheaper, batteries get cheaper, the pricing environment is just withering out there. Uh, particularly for fossil plants um, when they're competing against renewables with zero marginal costs. And then finally, the, perhaps the most interesting story of the week comes out of Los Angeles. So Los Angeles Department of Water and Power, LADWP, announced they're going to be no longer taking uh, energy from a coal plant. And instead, they're building an 840 megawatt new gas-fired facility expected to come online in 2025. Okay, so that's kind of a normal story. What's really interesting about this is that 30% of the fuel mix in that new plant is going to be green hydrogen. That is essentially hydrogen pr produced from renewable electricity that's then applied through the process of electrolysis to water, separating the water into H2 and O, and then that H2, the hydrogen gas, gets burned in that plant. So clean renewables, converting water into hydrogen, which is then consumed in the plant. And the goal is by 2045 to have this new 840 megawatt facility fully fired by hydrogen. So that is just an enormously important story if indeed it comes to pass and if it gets emulated by other actors in the space. That could signal a very significant switch towards a cleaner energy future. So those are the three stories this week I found most noteworthy. And uh, certainly there are those of you who can legitimately quibble that I missed something. Um, I'll be scouring for another three stories next week and look forward to seeing you again. And thanks for listening. Take care.